Hello and welcome. I'm so excited about today because we are on part two of our shopping series around the world showcase. If you haven't seen part one already, go check it out. It was a lot of fun. We are doing a series where we are going to go into each country and look at all of the really unique and interesting merchandise they have here in the Epcot World Showcase that we always don't get to check out during the live stream. So we're gonna take a deep dive into a couple more countries today. With that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's head over into Germany and see how far we get today. I'm thinking that we have a pretty good plan of attack for today. If you checked out our part one in the series, or maybe you haven't, just a refresher, we started out the series by going into China. We also went into Norway and also Mexico to check out all of the great shopping and merchandise they have in those locations. I figure we might as well continue the circle here and I'll start with Germany today, head into Italy, and we'll just see how far we go. One thing I did notice I want to point out before I get into shopping is they are really getting moving on all of the luminous barges to get ready for the new fireworks show that's starting very soon in December. And so you can see those out there prominently. They're even doing a lot of testing overnight. So that was pretty exciting to see this afternoon, all of the work that they've got going on over there. With that said, we'll head right into Germany here. You know, I know that Adam and I enjoy all of the Germany foods. So this one here, handcrafted caramel treats, a lot of the Werther's items. We can head into there because, oh, they are so good. I'll consider it a store, but I'm not purchasing food today. I know we're kind of gonna stick to some of the more merchandise locations, but at least in here, you can come in. Usually the line's pretty short. It's mostly Werther's products. Even some sugar-free. That is really nice to note because uh, there's so many things around Walt Disney World that you get disappointed because maybe if you need sugar-free or that's something that you need, you have to really hunt that down. Uh, so kind of good to note that here. So $8.99 for these pieces of popcorn. We'll come here, see if we can get a peek at the, the case. Oh, lots of people in line today, but mostly, look at this. You can also get this new caramel sauce here for $10.99. I'm sure we'll see more of the Germany snacks and treats and cookies just like you have in here but as far as the store is concerned they have some some pretty fun mainly were there's items and then it's it's a kitchen where they where they make everything by hand right here you know the popcorn that they put into the bag and everything so oh man look at her we'll take a look at her here oh she's hand making those, putting the caramel topping on those cookies right there. <laughs> you know, this is definitely supposed to be a merchandise stream, but here I am in the first few minutes just looking at all the amazing treats that they have. Okay, okay. I need to stick to the topic at hand, I promise. <laughs> okay, let's get into the stores, you know, what we really came here for. I will... I'll avoid all the delicious treats, but you know what I am gonna talk about is the country specific, maybe snack items that are packaged. I loved looking at that in all the other countries. So we're gonna go ahead right in here to the Christmas corner. We'll start with this, we'll make our way around. So something that's very common to Germany is the pickle ornament. Look at that, you can kind of see that. 
that pickle's kind of glammed out, if you will, in my opinion. That's got a lot of fun. It says right here, according to German tradition, the pickle brings good luck and was the last ornament placed on the tree. On Christmas morning, the first child to find the gherkin was rewarded with an extra little gift by St. Nicholas. This tradition encouraged the children to appreciate all the ornaments on the tree rather than hurrying to see what St. Nicholas had left for them. Um, if you're wondering why this is uh, wonky, it's because it, <laughs> they actually kind of have it, you know, kind of tweaked on the, on the tree here. I tried to make the camera, but <laughs> just was not liking that. So you can buy those here. We do have one for our tree. Adam bought it for us some time ago. Oh, look at it. With Swarovski crystals. That's pretty nice. And they have, uh, look at this, some of these ornaments here. That's just beautiful. Just beautiful. So this particular ornament is $32.95, but that looks like that is definitely probably hand bone glass. And then uh, also a German pretzel ornament for $12.95. Here, we'll take a look at some of these down with this. They range in prices, but you know, like this guy is uh, $16.99. This one, I, I think this is kind of crazy, but this one right here says it's $29.99. So there must be something special about the manufacturer. It's kind of hard to see here. I can get this one. Here. There we go. Maybe it can. There we go. Made right in Germany there. That's probably why it's much more expensive. And this Santa right here is also pretty expensive from the same manufacturer. Uh, the Santa is $37.99. So, quite a few different kinds of ornaments. I know there's quite a few people who like to be able to pick up some ornaments and mementos for their Christmas tree when they're here in Walt Disney World. There's a number of different Christmas shops that are, oh my gosh, this is so cute, but it's $42.99. I have to say, I don't think that like my ornaments at home don't even come close to that expensive. I'm gonna look up that manufacturer. Honestly, when I'm done with the stream, when I get home, I'm gonna look up that manufacturer for sure and learn more about them. It might be just cost to import them maybe, but I've, I've been to Germany. I've been to Germany at Christmas time and went to many of their markets and I've never spent that much. Oh my gosh, look at that. They move, that's so cute. Oh, wow. Hang up in an airy place if the weather is dry, turn the chimney till the lady comes out. If it's wet, bring out the man, only adjust once. Interesting, $29.95, sorry that was upside down, but the sticker was upside down. Wow. Oh, these, I like these too. So these little guys, these are $22.99. The ginger cottages. Huh, you find all the hidden gingerbread men and more in there. Oh, I see some things here that I definitely want to point out. Look at this. This stife. These are the popular stuffed animals uh, from, well, stuffed, you know, friends from Germany. They can get quite expensive. See, he has the Stife tag on it. This particular Mickey is holding a bear. Uh, Stife, I, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong, but I thought they're most known for their bears. And this uh, very special Stife Mickey is $79.99. They are quite costly, whether you are in Germany or here. And I do have one that I bought in Germany, but I also have had, um, a couple that I've bought just generally, oh, look at this, just generally when they've been here in the United States. Look at, uh, recently at D23, we got some for Harper and they were a reasonable price. I, I really wanted the Stife Dumbo for Harper, uh, but she ended up picking out other, uh, she picked up Marie the cat 
And then, oh, Minnie Mouse. So this one is $39.99, and it is just so soft. Can I maybe help you? So soft. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Me, sorry. It just seems like you were struggling to hold it up. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry, sorry. about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just come into a different store. I'll just go ahead and move along to another store. Let's head in here to the crystal store. We'll make our way around the... I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. So lots of beautiful glass, but these are pretty expensive. So this is $339 just for this one glass here. It's not even just a set. It might be a set, but it doesn't state that. Oh, these are beautiful. And there is some more glassware that Adam told me about that he really wanted me to check out. I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this necklace in the back. So I love kind of plain jewelry, that's just my opinion. It's $189, but that is really up my alley. That's definitely something I would wear. Wow. And we were just talking about Christmas ornaments. And this one's $115 here. This is what Adam was telling me about. He told me, if you are gonna go film, please, whatever you do, show this beautiful crystal spaceship Earth. Here, yeah, right here. That's pretty awesome. Arebus Brothers, who has a couple of different locations around Walt Disney World, just makes just stunning, absolutely stunning pieces. And here you go, here's the $79,000 for that. I mean, I would love to know if there's ever anybody who purchases any of these large pieces that are highly expensive. You know, there's people out there that certainly have plenty and that would be so cool to be able to get that obviously in here you can get your glass stein here and this is uh, again by rebus brothers 22 dollars and look at this wow a replica of the entryway there wow here i'm trying to see if i can Wow, that is stunning. I don't even see that there's a price on that. So there probably isn't, that probably isn't even for sale. Um, but equally in this store, there's plenty of food and wine, like etched glass. And they show you here, like how they, they etch glass, they blow glass. There's different locations and they all do the same thing. Like I said, one's at Magic Kingdom. I know that there's one at uh, we were just in Mexico, and we we showed that in the last video. Uh, so they were doing some of this. And look, they this is a fun souvenir if you want to get something etched with names and dates on them uh, here. Oh, this is great. Purchase any six items that fit in our gift box and receive a 10% discount off the total price. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Look at this. Tinkerbell, $9,200. Well, you know, you can add it to your Christmas list. Maybe if you've been good, Santa will put it under your Christmas tree. I'm really in love with this Dumbo. Wow. And sadly, um, oh, here, they have it flipped. The Dumbo here, I, it's hard to see. They've got the, the number flipped down, so short people like me, 16900 16,900, uh, wow, that is unbelievable. 
some of these little pieces. Oh, and they, um, look at the partners. Wow, $1,000, 999. That's crazy. Here, we'll head in here into. We're coming in there. We're coming in. Ah. Look at this. So we are over here where you can have wine tastings and different alcohol tastings, but they have some of their German snacks and treats that you might like here. I was trying to look for a, these look like cookies. Yeah, four cookies. I give you a serving size, $14.99. Biscuits, basically. And then imported German candy, honey candy here. Oh, and all these wafers too. These are seriously a treat that I love so much. Okay. And if you are in Germany, having a authentic Stein is probably really important or something that's exciting. If you want to buy one, I would say come in here to the wine keller and get one from here. Let's see how much. This one's $124.99. They are typically expensive to purchase, but they're a big souvenir for sure that you kind of keep for a long time. Uh, so if you have a German fan, German beer fan in your family, there's a lot of different options here. They're not all that expensive. Let's see. This one's $109. Uh, but nonetheless, I always do, and we'll go into Italy and we'll talk about it too. Some of their bottles of wine here, you'd think would be real expensive. It's not so bad, not so bad. So if you are wanting to bring something back to your hotel room or you want to take something home with you, this one's a $25 bottle of wine. This one actually is only a $16 bottle of wine. So it's honestly, in some cases, this is cheaper than in your hotel lobby. Um, I love some of the sweet versions of German wine, but I will tell you where I'm a sucker is this pear brandy right here. If you, I've, I've pointed out just a couple times if we're in live streams, but I will tell you, if you're looking for a gift, you just don't know what to give somebody and maybe they are they do drink alcohol. I will sell you. I will tell you. This is absolutely a talking point, a talking piece. I think these are really fun. There's a lot of people who have come to our house who've never had this, and thought it was, you know, really kind of different to try and to uh, get to know. So here, the pear grew naturally inside the bottle. Already in spring bottles are tied up with wires on the pear trees. Then the pears grow inside during the year, and then they're covered and, and you know sealed. But yes, those are actual pears in there. And obviously, when we have it, it's more of a sipping. Like I don't make drinks with it or anything. Uh, and it is seventy-eight dollars a bottle, but it is kind of a unique liquor. It's not uh, something that you would just down in a a big crazy party or anything like that. So it's something that you have and you know, for special occasions, that's what we use it for. <coughs> oh. And this chocolate cream here, I wouldn't go out of my way, it's fun, but you can buy this at a lot of local liquor stores. I think 42 is not, not a big deal. But they do have a lot of German wines that I recommend. And I don't, I can't recommend enough that pear brandy that's down there. Oh, here, I need to come back for this for New Year's Eve. Wow, yes. Maybe Adam and I should just get that on New Year's Eve. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, see, so more of these right here. Chocolates. Oh, I love all sorts of chocolates, that's for sure. And we'll come in here to take a look at this clothing that I know Adam was really excited about. He was talking about, well, this is kind of like it. There's a polo 
And this has a little bit of the dry foot, but this is a heavier, a heavier pole though. This is $49.99 here. <laughs> and of course, no trip to Germany would be complete if you didn't get your uh, German headband here. So kind of like in Mexico, you know, you, Germany as well, you can get one. This is $34.99, super fun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> These are fun uh, Germany shirts with Mickey and Minnie on them. And lots of different cups and mugs here. So I wonder how much this mug is right here. So let me take a look. It is $19.99. $19.99. And you know, a lot of these, if you do come in here, I always say if you eat at the beer garden, you can get some uh, cups from there too, but these are super fun. And anything that I bought from here, oh, I like this hat, actually. I like the hat a lot. It's $24.99. <laughs> oh. So here, more ornaments. This is cute, $21.99. Uh, it looks like they are celebrating October. It is October, you know, but they do have some October fests. You know, the last time I was in here, I didn't notice this. You know, the sausage handle right there. These are cute. Oh, don't be a brat. <laughs> that is cute. $24.99. Actually, that's cheaper. That's cheaper than I expected for that huge mug. It's really heavy, actually. Oh my gosh. October, uh, Beer Garden Oktoberfest. Ready or not, beer I come. Huh. So I don't know, and like I said, I haven't been in here in a bit. I don't know if these are out just for right now because it is Oktoberfest. Uh, it is October and they have a few extra pieces of merchandise or of these they celebrate oktoberfest almost year round here pretty much you know it's just a constant party here at the germany pavilion so it's possible that they have that year round and i just didn't know it was a new piece of merchandise so this is a cute half zip sweatshirt here oh, oh and here's the back here Oh, this is pretty, actually, this is pretty cute. That is pretty adorable. I like the back on that. Normally, I don't like having anything on the back of my sweatshirts, but I really love that. Oh, here's, oh, a German pretzel purse. Oh my gosh, wow, $44.99 for this. And of course, plenty of coasters. These are cute. Yeah, $24.99. These are pretty heavy for coasters. Wow. <laughs> so, let me head across the way there. A lot more steins. We'll head across the way to the other shop over here. Now we've kind of made our way through these. See what they've got on this side. I'm so happy these have reopened. You know, they were closed down for a little bit. And it's nice to see that they've reopened. They put a lot of things into these stores. Oh, for all my mini. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love this so much. Oh, $29.99. So, um, my family is got German heritage. My great grandfather came from there, and my well, I should say my grandfather actually. My mom's dad. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. See, I'm spending so much time in these stores. The time goes by so fast. These bowls are adorable. Oh, and these are heavy. These are ceramic. $39.99. So you can have a whole collection with mini. Oh man, I want all of it. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, let's just look at the mug. 1999. Look at. Oh, these are just adorable. Um, even the tank top. So this whole collection right here, you can have t-shirts based upon it, the mini ears. I bet my mom would like some of this. Oh, I love tank tops that are like racer backs. And this says large, but unfortunately, I think that this is a kid's. Look at the, the back is pretty cute with these ruffles here. But this looks like it must be a kid's. See, you can probably tie it here. This is a large, and this is definitely a large. I mean, I could probably wear an extra large in kids, but, you know, I don't know. So they've got all the stiff animals here. Wow. They are just so cute. Now, Harper has a couple of these. Uh, I know that some of you guys have been so kind and generous and gotten her a few of these little guys here at Epcot. And she loves all of them. She loves all of her stuffies. So as a, a treat to take home to any little ones or just for yourself, these little ones are not so bad, $20.99. And they're perfect you know, to carry around and enjoy. So lots. look at this. Oh, look at the dinosaurs up there. Those are so adorable. And they are absolutely so, so soft. So just for an idea, this is $30.99. When you think about it, a lot of the Disney characters that are stuffed animals are money, many times more than that. And these are so, so soft. You would not believe it. Oh my gosh, a little whale. Oh. See, I might need to come back because I have a few kids in my family who I just think that they would adore, like this penguin too. Oh. Oh. See, so they have a few stuff, um, Snow White items right here, Snow White t-shirt. This is cute. Although, okay, so this is, I like a more fitted t-shirt, and although this looks to be a women's shirt, this is an extra small, and for some reason it looks pretty large. It looks, it looks a little bit uh, bigger than a normal extra small. So, something to consider. This one's $39.99. It's cute though. Let me get the Snow White doll here. Oh, oh look at this sweatshirt. I have not seen this any other place either. I have not seen that any other place. So let me come around here. I know uh, Adam and I keep telling ourselves we're gonna get the matching t-shirts from here at Germany. Oh, in the dress shop. This is $128. Oh, it's so pretty. The dress shop dresses here at Disney are really very nice. And it may be a little bit expensive, but if you have some discounts, that does help. Oh, the cuckoo clocks. So you can buy these. So again, don't think that you have to carry things around or that you're required to find a way to get them home. Disney helps with shipping. So this one right here, I'm trying to look at the, this one right here is $1,099. These are very expensive even in Germany. Uh, these are not cheap no matter where you are finding them or purchasing them. So this is not just a, a Disney markup. Uh, but this one right here, $1,999. Wow. Even the small one here is $649. And so when, uh, when I have been to Germany, I think if I was gonna purchase one, I would probably would purchase one there. But if you maybe have a collection or you want, you've always wanted one, this is a excellent, excellent choice to, oh, look at this, this one says sold. That's got a red sticker that says sold on it. So somebody bought that. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cute with a little dog on the top of it. Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, I've got a lot of German pieces, like straight from Germany. I've never gotten a cuckoo clock. I, I believe that my grandparents had some and I don't know where they went, but yeah, those are really, really fun. And you can buy them here and they will help you ship them. Oh, so here's the shirt. That's uh, the matching shirt for later hosen that Adam was gonna get. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day. And we are headed here into the Christmas section, which is great because right now, uh, we'll probably skim through this a little bit because I've shown a lot of the Christmas merchandise that's out for this year on our live streams. And that's mainly what's in this particular shop. I don't see a lot of Christmas specific merchandise to Germany here that's different from what I showed in some of the other stores within Walt Disney World. So look at this. Here's a snow globe right here. Oh, wow. That is really cool, a snow globe. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Oh, this too. Do they have a couple of pieces that are unique to this store? And look at these stockings, $34.99, and this tree skirt. Oh, wow. This is an adorable tree skirt. This is perfect for right now. I'm glad I could show you guys some of this. I'm going to turn it around so I can look at the. This tree skirt is $79.99. Oh, that is really, really cute. And of course, there's matching kitchen towels that go with it, $19.99. And a couple of ornaments as well. Well, time is ticking. So I better head into Italy so we can move right along. Do you see how fast the time can go? And I felt like I was a little bit rushed to go through here, we'll take a detour by the trains. I'll take the train path here. Maybe. I might have to. I think these are so much fun. Maybe you didn't mean to call it. Wow. This is so fun. There's a lot of people who just sit in this area and it's usually nice and shady because there's a lot of trees right here on the way between Germany and Italy. <laughs> Let's head on over. And you know, while we're coming over here, I have, I have a terrible confession to make. Um, I haven't looked in the Italy shops probably more than a year probably more than a year. I have no idea why, there's no rhyme or reason, but I haven't been in the Italy Pavilion very much at all. I don't know why, I love to go see Sergio. He is an excellent entertainment. He's an Italian mime, well hence it says on the, on the sign here, but so worth it, so worth it. And, so I, you, I'm going to learn along with you in this store because I have hardly shopped in here at all. Oh, they have Prada. <laughs> Look at this. All sales are final. That is funny. Oh, Topolino. Look at that. That. So the pillow right there is $34.99. So I'll kind of start at the edge. So just like France and a couple of other ones, you know, Norway we were in as well. It just smells, it smells very heavily of perfumes. So they have a whole wall the of them uh -huh. right here. It's Italy's first 100% of time frame of So a huge wall of perfumes. Uh, you might want to note that if you are sensitive to smell or perfumes, this store you may want to avoid 
It is a very, very heavy smell of perfumes in here. And they do have the doors open, I'm sure just for that reason. It's $34.99. Oh, a cute sweatshirt. This is a very lightweight hoodie, women's hoodie. And this one is $49.99. This is very, very lightweight. Just so you know, guys, if you're looking for something that's, uh, that you might like, that's enjoyable. Oh my gosh, these are cute. These are so cute. I have something in mind I would love to wear these for. Oh my, I've never seen these before. These are $34.99. That's typically about what the ears are. And this right here, Arrivederci. Oh wow. Oh, this, I'm, I need to buy this because I love, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I've never seen anybody wear this. Where have I been? $39.99, and this is extra small. It is a, a flowy type tank top. Oh, yes, I've, I don't know why. I've never seen anybody wear this, but this is adorable. Oh, maybe I'll have to come back for that. And they have a, a matching skirt right here as well, a t-shirt that goes with it, with the same kind of, ah. Wow. Oh, here, you can kind of see on the model right here. So she's got, you know, kind of the outfit. Oh my gosh. Where, what is wrong with me? What, why have I not been in here recently? This is such a wonderful store. Oh my goodness. I'm not a hat person, unfortunately. <gasps> Adam would look so dapper. Oh my word. This Adam would love. Hey gentlemen, if you are looking for a fun, uh, so it does say Italy, Topolino. It's got Mickey on it. This one right here that we'll be using XXL, $59.99. Uh, but they have different sizes, of course. This is really nice. And um, look at this, in a, a full zip down. This is a nice sweatshirt. I'm really impressed with this one, which has pockets as well. Wow. I love these. These designs are really nice. And then equally, it's a pole, there's a polo. Look at this polo. Wow. Uh, Adam would love this polo as well. The only problem is this one is cotton and he likes things that are more plain like this. So if you have, uh, if you're watching and as a gentleman, you want something that's not quite as flashy, uh, this is a very soft cotton very soft cotton. This one also is $49.99. Uh, that is an excellent option for you. Yeah, a little one there. Oh, wow. Even just some of the designs in the merchandise as well. I'm like, this is kind of, I don't really like the sleeves on this one, but it is really cute. I will say this tank top is probably uh, up my alley. It's hard to see because I just put it on top of another one, but this is a, a tank top here, sleeveless. And this is probably up my alley for sure. This is something I would wear, $44.99. Wow. Oh, that skirt is just beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful skirt. Oh, wow. I'm, I haven't even been in here that long and I'm just adoring all of the pieces that are in here. A oh, lot of purses, which I expected. And another sad confession, I'm not a huge purse person. Um, I have 
a lot of times I, I carry around like real small kind of wallet type purses, for example, and keep things in that. And I just kind of keep it around my wrist or something small that's kind of like this. But I don't have any huge purses. And so these are small. So if you want something that you don't want to pay the huge price tag, like this one's $59.99, made in Italy. Uh, so they have more than just the extremely expensive Prada bags that are over there. Oh, look at these. This is fun. Wow. That's $515 mask. Huh. I wonder if anybody purchases these. Wow. These are very detailed as well. Look at some of these, some more Christmas ornaments. So these ones like $21.99 right here. They're all, I think this whole line is $21.99. So a couple of options there as far as designs are concerned. See even these are consistently, you know like in the Germany store, we ended up having to look at each individual ornament. Here's some masks right here. Look at this. I didn't know this. Oh, look at this. Here. Natural oils from the skin may damage the paint on the masks. Wow. So, this is interesting here. Paint your own mask starting from $30. So, they have some options right here. So, it looks like you select which ones you'd want. And then here. How to paint your mask. Use a, a pencil to draw some lines. You can visit that website and you let it dry for four hours. Then you add another layer. Oh, and they have a place where you can share your photos. Oh, not intended for use of children under three. Sorry, Harper. It's not going to work for you. So here, see, they have some little ones here too. So that's kind of exciting. Those are really cool. Oh. Look at the animal masks way back there. Wow. Now I can't even see how, how expensive those are. I like this one down here in the left corner. That's so elaborate. Here are some here too. Wow. $150. Wow. Wow. These are beautiful. I like these a lot. Oh, we'll come out here and around. So, just so you know, in the Italy Pavilion, there's a couple of little nooks, as I like to call them, where you can sit down and kind of enjoy and relax. So, right out here outside the shops, you can see that there's a lot of seating benches over here, too. It's not necessarily a bench, but it is in the shade most of the day. So it is a, an option. There's, so there's quite a bit over here. And we'll just swing back by around here. And I'll show you how Tutta Italia is back here. Via Nepoli is back here. So they don't have quite as much shopping as some of the others. You know, just those two little rooms that are over there. But they also have more restaurants. Okay, and a uh, no trip to Italy would be complete without a stop in their wine store, their vino. Here. And they have an excellent selection as well. I'll take a short, just little stop in here so you can do tastings in here as well. Here we go. Gives you an idea. Adam and I have had the Prosecco here and the Rose Regal, I'm pretty sure we've had as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
and you know, we've been looking at snacks from a lot of the different countries. So here you can take a look. There's biscotti right there in front of us. Some sour lemon drops. Oh, look at this. The almond Italian cookies. Let me take a look here. See, so I think <laughs> the little Nutella breadsticks, you can get in a lot of grocery stores, so I don't think that's really super great. But so this treat here, $6.49. Oh, these look super cute. I'd love to get this for Harper. Oh. And then some nougat, lemon and orange. And we'll take a look here. The biscottis are $10.99. Wow, let's take a look at how much this is. $16.99. So I, I do, I think that we need to go ahead and have a snack, like a country snack stream. Now it's gonna be hard to get through all of them, of course. But you know, we can get started and see how far we get. Oh, the ears are so super cute. Oh, look at this. A lot of kitchen items in this store. This is cute, I like this. Oh, I like these kitchen towels too. Those are adorable. So that is, uh, here we go, $32.99. I love that. Oh, these are, ears are cute. I haven't seen them before. I like that. <laughs> if you're a fan, a fan of lemon patterns, there's no shortage of lemon patterned <laughs> items here. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at Pizza Mickey, oh my gosh. That is so cute. Look at this, Disney Store Italia, $34.99. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I've never seen that before. Wow, quite a few ornaments here. Some Ferrari apparel, $45 for this shirt. Puma as well. Ah, here we go. Yeah, a couple different Puma shirts here. So I guess if you if you need some shirts that are more athletic or more name branded, maybe something happened with your luggage. You know they've got a few more well known brands here at the here at the Italy Pavilion. If you just want something kind of plain, you know those Puma black shirts. Especially Adam likes those from time to time. Oh look at this Epcot Italy bag. That is cute too. Oh, wow, and we'll just pop out right here, right by the gelato. So we've got a little bit more time. I wasn't sure how far we were gonna get, but we're gonna give it a, a good try. We'll head into the American Pavilion, take a look at some of their offerings. And same thing, I just haven't been over to the America Pavilion shopping either. I have to confess also that, <laughs> that I've been in the Japan Pavilion so often because of Park Pass TV Dan that I really, uh, you know, was kind of saving that one because I'm more interested to see some of these that I haven't been in a while. Oh man, I didn't eat lunch and Oh, I could really go for some Regal Eagle, man. But no, no, today is a shopping stream. There's no brisket involved. 
sadly. There's no brisket, there's no drinks. Just need to focus. I'm here to, to shop and check things out. Wouldn't it be awesome if they really were smoking things way out here? I know, you know, they have to serve way too many people for that to happen, but that would be pretty awesome if they did. Over here at the American Pavilion, there is really only one store. It's the Art of Disney. And I do like it because they are, there's art throughout the Walt Disney World property, but here, they like many of the stores, they feature particular artists. So David Doss is here today featuring his artwork, and there is multiple categories that you can see and check out, and you can buy frames, or you could just buy them and get your own frame as well. So look at this. Oh, look at this, boo to you. Wow. This is super cute. I like that. This one is called Are We There Yet? Huh. Those are so, so cute. Let me tip this one over here. Wow. Looking out over the Bay Lake Tower and the Contemporary. Wow, that is a fun one. They have some great artwork. We'll do a little skim through here. Of course, they're gonna show you that huge statue you can get when you become a D23 member for this year. And some of these statues are just beautiful. I don't really, I've always wanted one, but I don't know what I would do with it. I know you'd want to display it, but I don't know. I don't know. I've wanted one. I don't know what I would necessarily do or where I would put it. And that's, to me, half the battle. <laughs> the Disney Princess collection right here. Um, and all of these range in price, too. You know, like this one's a little bit smaller, it's $1.99. But Stitch here is framed, he's $3.99. Grand Fiesta Tour. These are nice, these are lit up. And these are, the top one there is $2.99. And then Bambi's mom down there, and Bambi is $3.99. Oh. Yeah, some really great artwork here, and really great pieces. Oh, here, the Creative Soul collection that they have here with matching dolls as well for $59.99. Oh, well, this is pretty awesome. So I've been kind of eyeing some of these figures from the Eras collection. It looks like this is another location where you can buy those Eras collection figurines and they even have some of the Disney 100 castles and collections as well wow oh here's another it looks like they probably were going to have the statue here as well but these are just the ornaments I'm sure Adam's probably sitting there and watching this and thinking see we should have gone to get it don't worry I think they'll be back this is pretty neat. It's $199 and you have Tinkerbell on the top. But my only concern is these are nice. This is Disneyland Paris and Tokyo. But to me, I would really want, wow. That's mini. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Look at that figure. That is cute, band leader Mickey. I would want Magic Kingdom, probably, for sure. Uh, so much great artwork in here. It's worth it to take a look and just kind of get out of the heat. Also, puzzles are in here. Wow, some princess stuff as well. And some woodwork over here, too. Here. 
Wow, this is called Gallery of Light. That's pretty cool. These are lit up. This is Jack and Sally. These are $89.99 for Jack and Sally. But Bambi here is $99.99. And then they have Hitchhiking Ghosts. And these little boxes are, I don't know, I would say about six to eight inches, you know, each way. So they're kind of small, but they are pretty neat. And these two, these figurines, woodwork figurines. Have a good night, girls. Oh, it's, look at this, Haunted Mansion way up there. Huh. And then before we head out, we'll look at these. Oh. There's no price on that, so it might just be part of the artwork that they have here. It's pretty awesome. Well, guys, with that, we are going to wrap up for today. We were able to get to Germany. We checked out Italy. We checked out this art store here at America. It has been a great time checking out all of the little things. Here's some America items, United States, America the Beautiful there. Oh, look at this as we kind of wrap up. And then on our next series part, I know we'll probably start in Japan. That is a very large store, very large store. So I'm thinking, yes, I'm gonna have to break some of these up, you know, as much as I can, and then make this into a multiple part series. So I'll just come over here so I can say goodbye. Wow, we'll take a look at, uh, you can see some of those barges a little bit more from there. But I have had a great time with you guys. We're going to do more shopping series, more in-depth looks at some of these countries here at Epcot. I hope that you had a really great time. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. Please hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. We have lots of live streams. And it would be amazing to see you guys out on our next shopping stream. So. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.